Hey guys, so sometimes you're working on an object and what will happen is that you want a crease somewhere to hold something a little bit sharper. You can see here, maybe we don't want this dipping down in there like that. So what we do is we do a selection by holding Alt and clicking around and then we can do select loops, boundary loop, and now I can add mean crease to this whole section here perhaps. Now, watch what happens. Okay, so the crease fails. It doesn't really do exactly what we want to do here. Even if we increase the resolution, you'll see it just doesn't quite tighten up quite the way we want until we hit a lot of uh, subdivisions here and that's not really what we want either so instead what you're going to end up wanting to do is don't use creases in this area okay just take those away instead you might want to go ahead and try a couple different things first you could press i and then o and you can do an outset okay this is something you might want to try and that's just going to push these poles back but it gives it a little holding edge here at the top so later on if you're to add just a loop cut through the middle perhaps You'll see that's holding exactly the way we want for the most part, but it's a little bit soft. So if you want something a little bit sharper, what you can try doing is just clicking or hitting Control-B and doing a bevel. Change the shape to 1 here. You could turn loop slide on and off as needed. And we could play around with this. We can use one segment. We could do the chamfer again, or we could do two segments perhaps and hold that a little bit sharper in that area especially if you bring them in really tight like that. So we get this really crisp edge here now. And as we go up in subdivision, because we're using geometry, not weighted bevels or creases, what ends up happening is that it will always maintain, for the most part, that curvature there on that edge. All right, so these are just some things you want to consider doing when working on certain types of geometry. It's going to allow you to start creating more and more uh, complex stuff at a certain point. Understanding when to use creases, if you can use bevel weighted or weighted bevels on your project, or if you just need to go with pure geo, right? So anyways, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll check you on the next one.